الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته we are almost there alhamdulillah with 99 names hope for the next few days we'll finish this inshallah so you'll have covered i think the first time many of you will be covering 99 names in your life right sahih first time alhamdulillah it's beneficial very beneficial not many people get this chance alhamdulillah and I'm benefited by the fact that you're sitting here because if you're not here, I have nobody to talk to except the world. So, mashallah, you're here. I have opportunity to benefit as well, inshallah. So, al-muntaqim also is in the Quran as well. Al-muntaqim, uh, we have the word in Urdu intiqam to take avenge, to not revenge, but to take badla, to take badla from someone. Huwa alladhi yaqsimu zuhul al-utat wa yunakkilu al-biljunat wa yushaddil al-iqab ala al-tughat. So Allah is Al-Muntaqim because He, if He wants to, He can break the backs of people who disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can destroy them. Bilkul destroy them. He can punish criminals and He can make the punishment severe for those who are tyrannical, who are disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then He says, وَذَلِكَ بَعْدَ الْإِعْذَارِ وَالْإِنذَارِ but Allah, as His way is, that He gives them opportunities. He warns them. He gives them opportunities to turn back to Him. وَبَعْدَ التَّمْكِيرِ وَالْإِمْحَالِ وَهُوَ أَشَدُّ فِي الْإِنْتِقَابِ مِنَ الْمُعَاجِلَةِ بِالْعُقُوبَةِ فَإِنَّهُ إِذَا عُوجِلَ بِالْعُقُوبَةِ لَمْ يُمْعِنْ فِي الْمَعْصِيَةِ فَلَمْ يُسْتَوْجِبْ غَايَةِ النِّكَالِ فِي الْعُقُوبَةِ He makes a very important point here. He says that, you know when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives someone time to turn back to Him, and to make tawbah and istighfar, and they don't make tawbah and istighfar, the punishment is much more severe. Because what happens in that time period, they're still obeying Allah more, disobeying Allah more, yani. Because they're disobeying Allah more, their punishment is now increased. Can you see? Whereas if Allah took punishment from them straight away, they would have a lesser punishment compared to when Allah gave them an opportunity to turn to Him, and yet that person never turned back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we, we seek Allah's guidance to be protected from those. We ask Allah's guidance to protect us from ever disobeying Him. Mm, to seek revenge, uh, to seek badla. Allah, we ask Allah to protect us from this. Then He says, Al-Mahmood bin intiqam al-abd an yantaqim min a'da'i Allah wa'a'da al-a'da nafsahu. That for us, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to protect ourselves from the greatest enemies, which is the nafs. Right, that we don't allow the nafs to destroy us, and those who disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are ever wary of them as well. So, this is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The next one is Al Afu. Al Afu basically means to efface something, to basically um, rub something out. If something was written on the floor, for example, you would completely efface it, you would immediately rub it out yeah? because there's one to cover something that's Ghafoor. But af, af is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completely removes it. So which one's better, you tell me? To cover something or to completely remove something? Completely remove something. This is why one of the du'as that we say in the last 10 days, Allahumma innaka afuun. Afuun tuhibbul afa fa'fu anna. So Allah, you love to efface sins. You like to, we say forgive, but it means to remove sins completely. So forgive us. Huwa alladhi yamhu sayyiat wa yatajawazu anil ma'asi. He is the one who erases sins and overlooks people's sins, their disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says it is, it's, it's actually more deeper than ghafoor because ghafoor basically means, like I said, to cover something. So on the day of Qiyamah, for example, when your Hisab Kitab is open, that sin, that sin even though you made, you made istighfar, will still be written there. Can you see? Allah will forgive you, but it will be in your Namai Amal that you did the sin, but later on you made Tawbah istighfar. But when Allah is ghafoor, he completely removes it. Yani, it's not even there in the book. It's been rubbed out. So we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to overlook us as well, overlook our faults. So how do we how do we bring that into our lives? Is that we forgive everyone who oppresses us and we are good to people. Right? Just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala overlooks our faults, then we overlook the weaknesses of fellow human beings as well. So this is something so, that we should bear in mind as well, that we have a sifat of chalo, uh, we, we wish Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives. وَالْيَعْفُ Allah says in the Quran, وَالْيَعْفُ وَالْيَسْفَحُ Ask people, uh, ask people to forgive you and you forgive them as well. Especially in these last 10 days, 
because some people they just don't forgive, they don't let go, right? They don't want to uh, forgive people because of whatever reason. But we should have a sifa that chalo take you who gaya whatever's happened. We ask Allah to forgive us. The next one of Allah subhanahu wa taala, which I just want to come end with today, is Malikul Mulk. Malikul Mulk, as you know from the word that we did a few days ago, Mulk, the Malik. Allah is the sovereign. The king of absolute sovereignty. In other words, everything belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every tiny thing, every great thing, every invisible thing, every visible thing, everything belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything that exists, everything that once existed, everything that will come into existence, all of it belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And nothing escapes the sovereignty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah controls everything. Your heartbeat. Every time it beats, Allah controls that as well. If Allah wishes, He could stop it. If Allah wishes, He could have something happen to your body, cancer could happen. Your cells could start multiplying and cancer could consume. Your blood could become uh, a problem for you. All these things are, that are meant to be life-giving, Allah can turn it around. But Allah is Malik of everything. Just like we saw with um, the COVID pandemic, right? It was, just a, it was just a virus that you could not see. It wasn't like a missile. Or a bomb or something, you couldn't even see it. Right? You, you could be standing next to someone who could literally kill you because he, if he passes it on to you, but you could never see it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like, like this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also powerful as well. Like He doesn't need like missiles and all these other things that we use. Allah is very powerful. But if Allah wants, He can use the, the heavens. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can use the mountains, the earth when it shakes, right? all of these things. It's also within the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is the absolute sovereign. He is the one who is Malikul Mulk. He is the king of everything. We have kingdom. So you might own a piece of land. You might own your house. You might own your car. But that's deficient. You don't completely own your house. Something could come to your house and destroy it tomorrow. Right? You have no, you have no ability to stop it. Even though you own it, you don't have power over it. So your, even your ownership, even your kingdom is limited. Huh? You might own some land, but tomorrow a flood could come and destroy it. There's nothing you can do to stop it. But when Allah is a sovereign, He has complete sovereignty over it and He has complete power over it as well. That's the difference between us. And you know, one of the differences between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You might own a car, but a car tomorrow might not work. It might break down. But Allah owns everything in such a way that He is in control of it as well. So this is something to uh, bear in mind when it comes to Malikul Mulk as well. We'll stop there, inshallah. We've got a few more names to cover. I'm hoping that we'll cover them in the next few days. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me the tawfiq, give us all the tawfiq, inshallah. Subhanallah, bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma, bihamdika. Nashadu la ilaha illa anta, nistakirika wa natu.